morning. Um, I think you can see Oreo in the back. A bit awkward because they're not, these dogs, they're just outdoor dogs. Um, so they're not used to like going traveling in the car and stuff. I'll get this camera right. But what I'm doing, I'm going to the vets, and I'll tell you why I'm going to the vets. Because he's got, uh, his, his, ears, his ears are playing up really um, bad. It's one of his ears, this, this one was a little bit down. Now, he's the one who takes after his dad. He's tall. He takes after his daddy, he does. Don't you, Oreo? And you see, look, see how good they are, though. They come into the car, see how they don't jump about and play up. They really are good. So, I mean, my me, me sticky thing here, what I use, it's like, um, like a bit like heavy duty blue tack. Because it's cold no heater in the car still the heater's playing up by the way so what I think it is the um, it worked and then it stopped working again I think the um, the heater matrix which is behind the dashboard I think it's about shot it to be honest with you because if that's no good um, you not you not do the heat very well Yeah, so um, yeah, so the heater matrix. I don't want to talk about this anyway. Basically, the heater's not working. It's not blowing off tears again. Um, anyway, so he's going to the vets. Look at here, Look at that baby. Couldn't wait to get in the car though. I must admit, to get away from the other dogs. You know, you know when like it's like brothers and sisters together. You you think if you, especially in that environment. Because before, which I never mentioned in previous videos, they used to all go into the garden and everything. So they had, I'd leave all them gates I didn't used to have, them internal gates. That is only because the dogs got separated. So they, they would have all the all that yard, all the all around the house. They could chase each other around the around the house. Plus they'd go in the garden summertime. I mean they had they had really enjoyed themselves. It's only. The two, in the, the two in the house caused all the problems, I've got to admit. If it wasn't for that, I think if it wasn't for the other two in the house, those two I uh, rescued, which are different blood, I don't think it would have ever been a problem. But I'm not going to blame the other two, because the other two were fine with the, the mum and dad. They were fine with the mum and dad. What, what's done it is just... It is different blood when they when the new the new puppies, Suki and Erdy puppies come along, these got jealous. They kept attacking them when they were little. And it, it was non-stop and then obviously they got bigger, like he is. And uh, they attacked him. I mean this one, Oreo, absolutely hates, hates Hunter, one in the arse, the male, absolutely hates him. Um <coughs> So I'm off to the vets. The vets are different in Ungra. I think they said nine till seven o'clock. You don't actually book an appointment. Or, or you, you can just phone up and say, oh, um, yeah, you've got, I've got his book, you see, you've got his vet book, a lot Oreo. So she just lets them know that I'm going down there. Lets them know that I can't wait in reception because of the dog. So what I'll do is, I'll go to them leave the dog in the car and just say I'm outside and then what they'll do they'll call me in to go to the vets and then when he gets inside I've never had any problems with the dogs wanting to so this is what I'm saying you're going to see it on video don't think for once that these dogs because what happened to me in the past it was not when I got bitten it wasn't directly bitten at me it was, it was only me breaking the dogs up and I have to state this because I don't want people getting the wrong impressions with my dogs and any other person is German Shepherd. German Shepherds are not um, the type of dog to just go attacking. They don't just attack um, the owners. 
I'll tell you when a, 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 any dog, any dog will attack the owner, unless they're really scared. And I don't think many German Shepherds, pit bulls, Rottweilers will, will tolerate, and it will, Oreo, will tolerate being abused and ab being abused off her owner. I think eventually, which I completely agree with, I hope the dog bites them. I mean, I've got to tell you now, I'm gonna put a, pictures up of my bites, everything, every one of my bites on my legs. Three times I've been to hospital. The other times I should have gone to hospital but I did it myself because they weren't doing anything more different than what I can do. Betadine, keep it clean, change the bandage. Always try and keep the bandage on because you need to, whatever's crap's inside, you need to draw it out. And uh, this is why they don't stitch up dog bites. They, they, do it, they have got to do it to mouse, even though these people say dogs have got the cleanest mouse. Yeah, I agree, yeah, they can clean up things and everything like that. But at the end of the day, they're eating dog shit, licking the floor, licking whatever they're licking, and it's no good for the human body. But lucky for me, when my first got bitten, I did um, tetanus. So I will, I will, despite whether I got bitten or not, I will be having another tetanus this year. Because I'll tell you something now, the best thing you can do, you know, you can get rusty nails, anything. Straight away, they'll say to you, have you had a tetanus? I mean, I, I, I trod on this um, chipboard outside one on the dogs. I, I put all nails when I used to have, like, the wooden seat outside for the dogs to go on. So I'd nailed the, um, what they call OSB chipboard to that. And eventually, these dogs being so heavy into Oreo, they, um, they're not... The nail started to come out, and I'd, when it was all damaged, when they damaged it all, and I was giving it to the next door neighbour to burn the wood, um, I trod on one of the rusty nails, I believe it went straight to the side of my foot. I mean, anybody else would have had to get to hospital with it, because it went proper, it went right inside. In fact, it went so deep, it didn't totally bleed. It's left a big black hole. But I, I did what I do. Better to and uh, cleaned it all up. But the other thing is, so I've got these fans, I've got this little electric heater on. <coughs> the other thing is, um, <coughs> see when I talk, you know, can't get no, uh, can't breathe. What do you think, Lorian? This camera's doing that. So, um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, so Metadine just clean, will clean it all up and everything like that. What do you use in English? What do you call it in England? Iodine, iodine, isn't it? Iodine. Worth always having that in the ice, you know, for how much it costs. Iodine, Metadine, whatever. We'll call it Metadine here. Iodine, you want some good gauze. Always keep gauze bandages. This is not just because of dogs. Even can be cat scratches, cat bites, um, even some of these bushes. You've got to think. Even rats, rats pissing, that rats pee and wee everywhere, don't they? Anything, anything that happens outside. I mean, the infection by wasps here. It's not just like getting a wasp thing here. You, they carry um, the same disease as ticks. A lot of the um, insects do here, what about you? So you have to be very careful. I mean, my girlfriend, we didn't know what was up with her. She got bit about three years ago. Um, and she had like two little puncture wounds. Obviously, it turned out it was a spider bite. She went to hospital because it was getting really bad infection. But the infection was internal. It weren't, it weren't like puffing up on the outside. It was really red raw on the inside and it was bruised out of a circle. Now, it wasn't a, a tick. They found out it was a spider bite and they said to her, where have you been to be bitten like that? And what she basically done is garden, because we've got so many um, bushes and trees, and she was weeding in between it all. Clearly she upset a spider, and it bit her on her leg. She said she did feel a, a nip, but she just thought it was like, maybe like a mosquito, wasp. But then it got started to get really sore, and like the pressure, 
it turned out that he said he was looking at it, he didn't look, he looked at it, he looked at spider bites on the internet, and it was, it was clearly a spider bite. And they, they, they had some um, venomous spiders here, but clearly they do. End of the day, you're going to get it in these sort of countries. This is why all the dogs have to have rabies here, rabies injection. You have to have it because Europe's got open borders, isn't it? Dogs can just roam. Like in England, it's, a, it's an island. And that's why England, they don't have um, rabies, they don't have to have rabies injections. This is why I think also why they've put a big um, stop to people bringing their um, big dogs in and dangerous dogs. Because they, I know that a lot of British people have imported some of these big Hungarian dogs. Not just these, German Shepherds, they both bought in like Commodore and Cool Mask Butcher. They bought all them in. And they're massive. And it, you know, if they're not um, trained right, and I mean, if they're not been selling serious, they are nasty dogs. Big, powerful dogs. Cool Mask. Lovely dogs. They're lovely. They've got to do to protect the um, sheep here, the herd. But people have them as guard dogs. Plus we all we have the um, oh god um, we have the uh, big mountain dogs here as well. We used to use a lot in Turkey. Um, in fact, I've got uh, I do a video. Uh, I did do a video years ago, didn't I? About I renewed the video. That Suki was playing with a puppy, and they're both six month old. And you look at all three month old. I think three month old. You look at the size of Suki. And look at the size of that dog. three times the size and both of them are couple the same age but anyway hey old Oreo is he lovely he's going to the vets get his ears done hopefully what it is I've, I've been using this which is called um, Otodine to clean the ears out I'm just going to tell the vets I've been using this but the problem is not cleaning it up so what he does need they've got this off the mum Erdy never suffered from ear infections the other dogs don't. The only other dog that suffered with his ear was the one that died, bless her. Bless her little soul. It was um, Aina. So, Suki, Aina, and Oreo, they're the only dogs I've got that have had one ear, not both, one ear infection. Well, where they play up and scratch. And they took the head to one side. I mean, I have, I've done Suki's myself. Suki's is fine. All of her is grown bad, she don't really itch, I just make sure I clean it up now. One good thing, make sure you clean the dog's ears, but they can get parasites and all sorts. So, and obviously I need to bless her, she's died, but then he's just got, uh, his skin's gone all like, it's like a rough, rough bubbly, and it's really bad. It healed up, but he's just come back again. And he's sending him crazy. You can see it now, he's, hurry up, hurry up, that's your baby. Uh, you like the vets, don't you? You'll we'll see how he reacts when he gets to the vets. I know you're not interested in me, you're just interested in the dogs. But I've tried to explain to you. So don't have a go at that. Oh, you love a day out, don't you? A little bit of a story about him. We know when... Um, just growing up and we was trying to, we was sort of, I didn't want to get rid of them I'll be honest with you, but we was looking at owners and because the um, the ambulance people who come round for some this morning because she goes to have a blood clean every Monday, Wednesday and Thursdays, a lot of the um, guys who do that job as well are police, so a bit like firemen, but firemen back in the day like my brother-in-law, although he was, later on he was in like a captain who's in charge but they have you know like where they have like four on four off when these um, police do have time off they, they, they drive the ambulance not not like um, urgent assistance on the streets like an ambulance collecting people who need to be going to the hospital license this month and obviously they know about the dogs and seen the dogs and um, a lot of them wanted the dogs one police won't come um, with, a, with a guy and this guy thought he was some kind of trainer, he's a twat 
and he put the policeman off and but he come to have um, Hunter and Luna the ones in the yard. And I says to him, well can you talk to the dogs? Don't just stand staring at the dogs. I says, you must stand staring at any a person they don't like it. He didn't talk to the dogs, just stared at them. And the Hunter then jumped up to bite their hand while they was in the pocket and he went, oh he says, that's no good, he's just biting me. I said, well I'm not being funny, you've not spoke to the dogs. You're staring at the dogs and you've got your hands in your pockets, you've not even gone to stroke the dogs. I mean, what sort of person does that who wants the dogs? So I said, Sunset. Yeah, I'm not having my dogs get to people like that. What, what does he want to do with it? Then another ambulance lad come in, guy come in, he was about a 30 year old, 28, 30. And his girlfriend loved the dogs as well. And she had a, a Scottish, what they call German Shepherd, those big fluffy ones. Like, is it like a lassie dog? Do you call them a bit like lassie dogs? Is that the proper name? Are they called Scottish Shepherds? Don't quote me on it because I don't know. I, I didn't know I would just call them lassie dogs. I knew that wasn't the original name. But I just called them like sheep dogs. There's some kind of sheep dog. But she said the are the are the are the shepherd, uh, German Scottish Shepherd dogs, I don't know. Anyway. So she had one of them and they had a German Shepherd, a female. So they come round to look at all these dogs in the back. And bear in mind, Erdy was there and Suki, this is when all the dogs were together, all to Luna. They really liked Oreo because Oreo was really friendly. Isn't it, Oreo? So you're jumping up at the fence. Anyway, they actually, I, this is when I, I, I did put it on Facebook, I fell out with my girlfriend and mum. Because I didn't know, the day they came round to look at the dog, I didn't know that he was coming. And I seen him with a lead. Next minute they're putting the lead around his neck and I'm in the arse. And I'm thinking, what's, what's going on here? And before I knew it, so I said to my girlfriend, I said, what, what's happening? She said, oh, they're taking the dog and if they um, see how the dog is. I went, well, you're not really, anyway, I said, you're not really disgusted properly like they was coming to take the dog. Anyway, they took the dog and Oreo went for one night and apparently he settled down. But the, that, that Scottish <coughs> shepherd dog completely didn't like it, 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 this dog and they were barking at each other constantly. And he did sort of get on with the female dog a little bit. But anyway, it was alright. And then um, what happened was I had a big argument. They bought the Oreo back, the former. The guy was the guy was crying, he was upset, so you can imagine how you'd feel if you had a dog. I says, well, I, I'm not I don't think he's gonna settle because of your dog. And she, she was saying she was a bit worried because that shepherd dog was having problems with their shepherd as well, and they didn't want to make a big problem. And I says, well, it, it's no good having three then because it's gonna be a big circus and you don't know how he's gonna be. So they bought them back, then they came back again and said they want to try again. He, uh, he were fine with them, they were letting him stroke him and he went. As soon as he got back, as soon as he got back, he attacked their female. Really bad. So she phones Sunday up and says to my girlfriend, I don't think we can have him. He just really, really attacked. He just he was he were fine and they were sitting together, laying down and playing. Next minute he just grabbed the female by the neck. So I said to my girlfriend, I says, look, what do you expect? I said, they don't even know each other really, do they? I said, you just chucked him in at the deep end. Anyway, she worked up here, so I then said to my girlfriend, right, I've had enough now, I want him back. I want my dog back. I just want him back. He's clearly not up here. And do you know what? Bought him back, he was dead happy to get back, and I, I, I was, I felt really, really bad with what I did. Um, I felt ter I, fa I felt actually, um, felt really terrible to be honest with you and um, then the guy was really really crying upset about it phoning my girlfriend up saying oh I really miss him and everything like that and, she's, and I says well look end of the day he's had the dog well he's had the dog just for a few hours at night time because apparently his girlfriend stayed up all night with him stroking him and everything so they, they clearly do like animals not horrible not like some of these they're, they're like that odd, odd ones who generally like 
dog to take care of them. Uh, but they were they were they, they was uh, quite they were, what I say they were well off to um, other other Hungarians. They were well off to other Hungarians. So I've got to stop because what it is the children are crossing. So there's a zebra crossing here and one there. And if I stop there, I'm going to block that road up. It's, I'll tell you what, the way they design things here, it's actually pretty bad. Um, so they've got a like zebra crossing on each side of the road. So if I would have stopped at that second crossing, I would have blocked the centre of the road off so the cars wouldn't run me straight on properly. Hey, Barrio, a big boy. He's my baby. So, um, yeah, so he's brought him back. Well, obviously, this ambulance man comes around the house. Oh, and he's not right, he's proper, proper um, depressed. Really, really, really depressed. But I said, look, it's a well for me dog at the end of the day. And I didn't really want him to go in the first place. Didn't mind people looking at him to see how he felt. But Clearly, he wanted to come back home, meet your baby. And he's like now, now, he's like, um, always comes to me. If I'm cleaning up outside, you'll see, I'll do videos. Always comes next to my legs and everything. It's like, you don't want to be separate from me. I mean, this is why I, I, I want the, I want the, the, the more land, the liver house, because they've got more, end of the day, Dogs still like to, at times, still like to have their own space. Yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around while we vet, drive to the vets. We're nearly there now. So we're in Tissu Varish. You know where Tissu Varish I've done like little videos here. It's been um, quite mild, the weather. It's been a real mild winter, but you know the problem? It's just gone really, really cold, minus five. And everything's just froze up. See how the weather changes? So you can't really guarantee the weather till at least March. Once March is gone, and it comes to, once March is finished, middle of March, you're fine. You're not gonna get no more snow or ice. The last snow, if you're gonna get snow, it'd be March, and that'd be it, and that's, not all the time. I mean, look, where's the snow? I mean, hardly any snow this year, just a little bit. Jesus Christ, I wish I was in my car. My feet are freezing. I've got thermal socks on. Oh, it's just here. God, there's not many people here. Wow. Oh, that's all right. Where is everybody? Oh, this is brilliant. Nobody here. Oh, that's superb. I'm loving that.
I'm just going to go and see them inside. Just going to go and see them, see what they say. I'll leave you with Oreo. One minute. I'm going to get mask, take my glasses off. I know I don't look, I know I don't look too intelligent. Well, yeah, I might be. Because I can't believe, I can't mask the bees up, can it? Oh, there's all, um, right, back in the minute. I've got the book. I've well, already are here, yo. My little baby, not little, are you? Oh, little, 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 little. Don't even look time to. Oh, geez, what? Baby. Anyway, we're nearly home. <coughs> I think he wants to stay in the car to relax. You know, because he's got an infection, he's allergic, obviously. He's going to want to, um, I think he's going to want to relax in the car. But Sunday, obviously, the girlfriend, she's got to get to the um, chemist. And get I mean like all these tablets and um, antibiotics for his stomach, ears, everything, um, like the drops, everything, all from the normal people, normal chemists, cheaper. See they don't rip you off here. So that's just cost me. I've got some cream, two lot I've got cream, I've got a syringe, I've got some eardrops. I've got some, obviously I've got this food, what type of tablets. It's just cost me, um, I think it was 13,000 foreign, which is about 32 quid, 33 quid. So, absolutely brilliant, really. I mean, what do you charge in England? You get charged about 25 pound, don't you, just to go see the bear? And then she'll get all the rest of the stuff. I mean, he's got to have a lot, because he's a big dog, he's got to have a lot of antibiotics. 68 kilo, oh my God, just under 68 kilo. I've got to get him, I've got to get the dogs, the males. It's not the females. I've got to get these males. I've got to get all of them, Erda, Kai, Beer, and this dog. I've got to get them all down to about 45, maximum 50 kilo. Because otherwise, like she says, I know they're big dogs, but she said 50 kilo is maximum for them dogs. She said, really concentrate on about 45, 40, 40, about 45, I'd say, or 50. I mean, they're tall dogs. They're not, they are two big dogs, aren't they? I mean, look at the dad. They are tall. Anyway, I'm home now. Yeah. Uh, you're back home. There's your, there's, your friend, there's your friends, look. And uh, see ya. Oh yeah, give me a pee hand. You want to relax in the car? You want to relax there? You want to relax in the car? All right, then, baby. Fix it. Give me a pee hand, yo. Give me a pee hand. 